For new investors, it can often be challenging to make the distinction between buying your own home to live in versus buying an investment property. We asked Joanne Ferguson Watawa about some of those differences. I'm here with Joanne Ferguson Rutawa from the Century 21 Everest in their Westlake Village office. And I want to talk a little bit about the new investor, uh, someone who's maybe gone through purchasing for their own selves a couple times even. What, what are the differences in the things that they should be looking for if they're looking specifically for a rental property? So there's a couple of differences. Um, if you were purchasing a home to be owner occupied and you're going to reside in it, you may be looking at the location in proximity to airports, hospitals, um, commuting, you know, train stations, um, crime statistics, things like that, versus someone who's purchasing as an investment. They might be looking at the um, property condition, how much maintenance does it require, um, are they going to be um, managing that property themselves? Are they going to be hiring a property manager who can charge upwards of you know 10%? So they're going to be looking at um, you know rates of return, uh, rental income for the area. You know, are there uh, enough rental units in that area, or is it saturated? Um, those are just a couple of the things. So what you're looking for uh, as an investment versus uh, owner occupied is different. You might not be looking at um, styles of home if you're going to be renting it out and things of that nature. Very good. All right. Well, a lot to consider there. And if you want to uh, go through those considerations with the knowledgeable expert, you can uh, talk to Joanne Ferguson Watawa by contacting me. I'll put you in contact. And uh, thank you for having me here thank in your you. office.